Hey, welcome back to Civilization 6 as Japan. So, I queued up a bunch of spaceports, mostly after current production, like this one in Osaka, and one in Gordian, and a few more, mostly in cities just under 100 production. So we got one here, we got one here, there are like five of them. However, if I want a spaceport in my actual top production city, which is my capital right now, I'll have to harvest the deer, because that is the only valid tile for it. And I suppose that's not a big deal, but I still have to do it. Anyway, we are also about to finish Taj Mahal, and we are still at war with Persia. So, my plan is to take their capital and whatever other city we have to take to get the oil. So, let's do this, shall we? We are repairing the walls. I will ignore this city right here, because I don't really need it for anything. I might take this one. Or we can go directly for the capital. I think we can just go directly for the capital. In fact, I can start attacking it right now. So, let's do exactly that. This won't even take very long. A few turns and that's it. Especially since I can move and then still attack on most of these guys. So yeah, even this one. Move and attack. And all three of them are outside of any bombardment range. It's probably safe to put the infantry in the front. Then again, I don't have to do it right now, so there's no need. Uh, there are no units to attack, really. Uh, I guess we can rebase into the actual city. And let's get a few tile improvements. More production for the city wouldn't hurt. Oh yeah, and we have one more artillery. And this guy... No, he doesn't have a plus one range. I thought he had a plus one range for a moment. I suppose I can attack something else. If only for experience. Like this encampment over here, that's always plus free experience. Alright, uh, I think that's mostly it. I don't think I will be chasing these guys. Uh, my ironclad can kill him. Thanks for the era score, bro. Uh, I might be able to get my builder back. He still has one more build left. I can always utilize it. Okay, well, looks like that's it. We still have the hero with 23 turns left. So I might be able to do something. But there's no need to take excessive damage. Let's just chill in the back. Let our artillery do the job. Uh, here's field cannon army. We'll send it south. And we still got the general, or rather the military engineer up here. I don't really need him for anything anymore. I suppose we can get some more railroad to the south. Not that I really need it, but we can connect our new cities with a proper railroad to speed up troop movements. And we can get a few more fisheries up here. There you go. These are nice yields right here. I could also move Liang back to my capital for a few turns and get a few more fisheries in my capital. That's an option. But in order to get production from that, I would have to keep Liang in my capital permanently. Did you ever a flood, the okay. Yeah. There's Taj Mahal. I probably don't need it, but we got it anyway. And more great people for more yields. Uh, yeah, this guy will definitely be useful. I mean, I don't need a rocketry boost anymore because I got rocketry. But we will get plus one production to every ley line. And I can definitely use plus 20% production towards space race projects. And AI has been pretty slow with great engineers. So I don't want to pass on him and then wait forever for the AI to get him. So let's just pop him right away. 
I can pop him twice because I got Mausoleum at Halicarnassus, but I don't think the bonus stacks. I'm 99% sure it doesn't. Which is fine, plus 20% is still good. Anyway, let's do some damage. Nice quadrant, bro. What are you planning to do with it? You'll probably die. <laughs> I think we can take that city on the next turn. Maybe even on this one. Uh, yeah, we can take it on this turn. Well then. Where's that infantry? Right here. Off you go then. Done. And we got the oil. Nice. So now I could just peace out. I don't think loyalty will be a problem. It has 11 population. I can just move a governor here like Victor or somebody else because Victor will give me plus four loyalty still. Where's Magnus? Is he anywhere useful right now? Which city is that? This one. Uh, yeah, it's kind of useful. I was going to chop some of this jungle right here, but I'll need more builders for that. I think there's one queued up. Yep. So let's keep him in there. I think loyalty here will be fine, even without a dedicated governor. It looks like it will be fine. Not to mention this city has entertainment complex, which means I could run bread and circuses if needed. So that's nice. Anyway, fade by the monument, might as well fade by the flood barrier, and the sewer, and then repair. Here you go. Yeah, so now I can either peace out or I can still take this city right here, just because I can. I might actually take it. It's not a bad city. Yeah, I might actually take it. And that volcano just exploded, which means uh, the tiles around it got some extra yields. And I can probably take it in like two turns total. Okay, merge this. And let's see if I can recapture that builder. Uh, one more use on this guy. How about some production? Uh, not happening. Uh, we should probably buy that ley line, because look at the yields. Yep, that's pretty nice, I would say. Where can we get some production? Uh, we can get a lumber mill right here. That is actually in range of the city. So, okay, let's get a railroad to the south. Basically from Gordian leading south. Works for me. Uh, one more build on this fella. I am waiting for the border to expand to the oil, but we also got another builder coming up. So, might as well just remove the jungle. And yeah, I think we'll just take the next city. It looks a little bit awkward over here, so I wouldn't mind taking it. We'll take it. I can actually attack it right now. I just need to be careful about that encampment. So, yeah, let's play it safe. And I'll just chill over here. It's not like we are in a huge rush. There's not a whole lot he can do. He can try to defend himself. But it's not going to work very well, I can tell you as much. More fisheries. Wait, what? Oh, that's Hungary, right. <laughs> I was confused for a moment. I'm not selling your strategic resources. Sorry, buddy. Get your own. Uh, here's combustion, so now I could get a tank and turn it into a tank army with my general because he's not going to be relevant much longer. Uh, here's one more artillery for a merger. Yeah, with this guy. Uh, that will have to wait one more turn. Anyway, let's do some damage to the city. I'm just moving that artillery. Uh, in fact, hold on, I could merge it right now. So let's swap these guys. Then we can merge. Uh, here's a promotion. Oh, I have to pick that up anyway, because I didn't have expert crew on that one. That's alright. 
Let's do this. I guess we'll kill that pike and shot. Yeah, this encampment makes this a little bit awkward. I could use plus one range on at least one of them. Or I can get rid of the encampment really quick. I should be able to get rid of it pretty quickly. Yeah, that doesn't look like it will be a problem. Uh, let's just move the general into the encampment. And I can still use the hero. It's not like she has anything better to do. Not really. As for research, let's reveal uranium. Because if I don't have uranium, but Persia does, then I can take it from them before we end this war. I definitely need to know if I have it before we end this war. Alright, I can't fade by anything anymore. Uh, let's just get the zoo. Yep, I might actually need some amenities, so that's a good idea. Uh, I can get my builder back, nice. There we go. He only had one build left, but hey, that's still one build I can use, right? Here you go. Now we wait for the spaceports. How's the capital doing? I do have a builder coming up, so then I can use him to harvest the deer, and then we'll build a spaceport over there. So that's the plan. How are the uh, yields on the ley lines? Pretty good! Yeah, that's not bad at all. Look at that. And it will get even better. One more thing I can do is get Hercules to rush one of the spaceports. You know, just to get started on the other projects ASAP. So we could do it in Osaka. It has 113 production. So it's only 850 faith, not exactly a big deal. Oh yeah, uh, I just have to figure out which city he was in. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm actually not sure. Does it say? Um, no, it doesn't. No, it actually doesn't. Yeah, see? I, I can't... Oh yes, right here. There we go. Now we can get him again. Done. That also gives us some error score. And then I'll use him to finish this spaceport right here. Done. And then we can get started on the Earth satellite right away. That's only six turns. And since I have four more charges, I'll just use them to rush other spaceports. Which means I can work on other things. Like archaeological museum. I still got some antiquity sites I can take advantage of. Yeah, we can finish the food market instead, so these two cities and maybe one more Gordian that also works. So trader instead. Here. Good enough. Yeah, chop that. And let's see. I need so many improvements up here still. <laughs> yep. Alright, uh, so let's see. We got one dude down here. He won't be able to do a whole lot. I might be able to piss out with people I don't want to be at war with. Because I don't need to be at war with Mali. Uh, we need to wait two more turns. Fair enough. I guess we'll wait two more turns then. Where do you think you're going? Nowhere. Alright. Let's do some damage here, like so. Yeah, I could really use plus one range on one of these guys, but alas. We can use the biplane. Here's some era score, nice. Yeah, see, I can only really attack that city safely with one artillery. Which is a bit unfortunate, but a decent encampment will be gone in like one turn. Yep. It'll be gone on the next turn. It might not be safe to enter that tobacco tile. But this is the last build, so... Yeah, the builder will be gone as soon as he finishes the improvement. Where's the spaceport in Gordian? 
right here. That's the one. Done. That's another spaceport. And then we got two more charges. Let's see. Yeah, just queue up a seaport. And escort the builder. And get rid of that fella. We don't want him here, do we? Nope. Not really. I can finish him off. Uh, or not. He will give me some more era score. Do we have enough slots for this guy? Yes, we do. And here's another archaeologist. Uh, yeah, I can't use it here. Uh, we can use him up here, I guess. That works. Trade routes. Plus 20 gold from Auckland. Nice. Uh, speaking of Auckland, let me check city-states real quick. Uh, yep, looks fine. I do have 9 envoys. But I'll just keep them to make sure we keep our existing city-states. These are the important ones. Especially, like, Auckland. It's giving me a lot of production now. Uh, here's an eruption. Yeah, that's the city we are sports basically about to capture. Character. Professional sports. And we stole some more gold. Not a whole lot of gold, but whatever. Always something. Now, that encampment. Let's see. Both of these guys have expert crew. Uh, actually, no, this one does not. So attack with that one. Then we can move and attack the city. And I can actually take the city right away. And then we can peace out. Unless I have to wait one more turn. Done. Yeah, this is a pretty nice city, actually. Now we can fight by everything. Here you go. Alright then. Queue up a builder. Uh, actually, not really. We'll get a builder elsewhere. Six turns. Uh, let's just get a builder in Gordian. That's much faster. Yeah, only two turns. Or two builders even, or three builders even. Uh, looks like I actually need them. So, uh, now we have to move to other cities. So, these... Yeah, there's a spaceport here and here. Okay, off you go. Right here. And queue up something else. Like food market and research lab. There you go. Okay, more civics. We could... get conservation. That leads to cultural heritage, which unlocks shipwrecks. So that's an option. Yeah, let's do that. I might be able to get that bonus. Hold on. Can we get that bonus? I mean, I probably can. It might take a little bit of shuffling around. I would need artifacts from the same era and the different civilizations. So I would need ancient artifact that belongs to someone other than myself or Cyrus. Let's see if they even have artifacts. Uh, yeah, does someone I can trade with actually have artifacts? Relic, relic. Uh, they might not. Okay, she has a bunch. Uh, these are mostly relics. These are all relics, every single one of them. Okay, interesting. Lautaro, maybe? No, they all only have relics, what the heck? Well, never mind. I guess we will not be getting that bonus. Unless I can get it with my, like, existing relics, which, no, I can't. Unless we get an artifact that could potentially give me a bonus here. I would need an ancient era artifact. So, we'll see if we can get it. With the archaeologist that's currently out. Anyway, there's the builder, so let's remove this. I can still queue something up. Uh, yeah, like a seaport. That's an option. 
a sewer might actually be useful. Let's get a sewer. And that only takes one turn. Then I can start the spaceport on the next turn. How's that oil? Two more turns to get the oil. Yeah, let's just wait for that. And we grab another builder while we're at it. Now, it looks like I have to wait at least one more turn before I can sign a peace treaty. So let's do exactly that. And how about we just queue up a few things in here. To keep the city busy, you know. That will do. That should keep it busy for a while. Just merge these guys. Alright. Oh yeah, and the city flipped. So I could capture it if I really wanted to, but it's a one population city, there's no need. There's definitely no need. I'm not going to bother with that. This is going to be a lot of builder micro, probably. <laughs> I could just like not do it. That's definitely a possibility. But I wanted the production from it at least. Let's check our policies really quick. Uh, I don't think I will be changing any of these. Yeah, these are all good and useful. Let's see where uranium is. Like I said, before we peace out. I need to know if I have uranium or not. Uh, here's the last promotion for uh, this guy. Unfortunately, nothing useful for a counter spy. Oh well. I guess he tried. Now we can move him back home and use him as a counter spy. Probably for one of the spaceports. Like this one. Better to fight for something than live for nothing. Yes, we got uranium. Down here. Oh, nice. We just took uranium from Persia. Very nice. And also over here. Okay. So we do have some builders standing by. Yeah, this guy. He can go get that uranium. Off you go then. A pop Hercules. And down here. Done. And one more use. So that's going to be Shizuoka. Okay, next up we can research plastics to unlock the offshore oil rig. Because I don't need that. Harvest the deer. That will give me some production. So I could actually kill something up to benefit from that production. Like a seaport or stadium. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much. Seaport is fine. Here. But we'll finish that later. I want a spaceport right now. So that's 12 turns. I could use Hercules here as well. And then use the next project in my capital, because it has more production. And just let Shizuoka finish its own spaceport. This is mostly for the projects that will boost it later. Uh, I like that plan, actually. So let's use Hercules in our capital instead. And I could use some traders in my capital. Not all of them, just a few to boost production slightly. And it looks like more cities will flip to me, if I want them. I probably don't, to be honest. But hey, it's an option. Anyway, we can peace out now. There's no need to stay at war anymore. We'll take the cities we captured. Would he give me more cities? And no, he wouldn't. That's fine. Let's get the gold. Oh, he will not give me gold, really? Okay. Interesting. He won't give me any gold whatsoever? I mean, I don't really care about his gold, but I expected him to give me at least some. Okay, whatever. Let's just peace out. We got his capital. We got what we needed. Uh, I still have to wait one more turn with Congo. Hmm. But we can peace out with Mali. Hmm. I could go after Mali, but there's just no need. And we're done. So now I basically just need to finish the game, really. How are diplomatic victory points? We are actually in the lead. 
Okay. Hey, here's another promotion. I think I'll just focus on wrapping things up now. Because there's no need to really delay things more than necessary. Hey, let's send this guy to Osaka. He can be a counter spy there. Add the spaceport. Works for me. So, can we get Ancient Era Artifact? Hmm. Uh, both of these are fine. Uh, classical Era, unfortunately. Okay, I just need one from Ancient Era. That belongs to anyone other than me or Cyrus. Next. Ancient Era, nice. I think I'll have to wait a few turns to move it. Uh, which one is it? <laughs> yeah, good luck finding it. One of these. Yeah, that's the one. Oh yeah, it has to be full first. So I need to extract one more, and then we'll be able to move it. So I should be able to get this bonus right here. No problem. Uh, Envoys look fine. And there's the oil, now we can improve that, nice. Not that I really need it, but we got it anyway. Any more railroads needed? Uh, we can extend it to the former Persian capital. But generally speaking, I think we're done with wars. I just don't really need to go to war anymore. I could if I really wanted to, but there's no real need. How much production can we get for our capital? Not that much. Only plus two with international trade route. And plus three with internal trade route. It might be worth using an internal trade route, at least one of them. Yeah, let's use at least one of them. That's faster growth. And I still have quite a lot of room for growth. Okay, uh, how about Hercules? Where is he? Right here. So move him to the capital. And then we'll rush the spaceport. And then we'll just focus on finishing the game. It's been quite a fun one. I have already been thinking about the next setup. I have a few ideas. But I'm not quite sure which one I'll go with. Someone in Discord suggested playing Scotland, and I never played Scotland before, so I might give it a shot. At least that's one of the options. Wait, why can I not use him? Oh, uh, he already used up all of his charges, right. Okay, fine, I guess we'll just build it the regular way. That's acceptable. Uh, now, let's focus on tags I actually need for the space project, which is satellites, that's going to be next, and after that nanotechnology, and then I'll have to find the proper unrevealed tech. Any more boosts we can get? Um, not really. Well, I can own three tanks, which is definitely pretty easy to do. We can own one, like, right away. So, like this. And then I'll just recruit two tanks in my cities. Uh, preferably higher production cities. Like Gordian. I mean, there's no huge rush, but I would definitely like to get that done. Uh, this one will have decent production once that industrial zone is done. So let's queue up one tank in here, and then one more tank elsewhere. Six turns is acceptable. Here, okay, that will give me the boost, that will give me three tanks total. And more districts. Yeah, industrial zone, plus five, plus three. I think plus three is fine. I would rather keep the lumber mill. We'll get it on that tundra instead. 6 out of 14 housing. Yeah, okay, this city needs a lot of improvements still. 
We should probably plant a few woods to get more production in here. Definitely a good idea. Some wonders are still available. Let's run some projects that will give us more great people. Are some more great people coming up? Yes, and pretty soon as well. A scientist is coming up. Any great person I get will increase the yields on ley lines. So these are the yields right now. And they will only get better. Look at these yields, that's pretty crazy. Two food, six science, eight production, five culture and one faith. And it's only getting better than that. How much coal do we have right now? Uh, that's still enough for more power plants. Let's grab one in here. And okay, one more use. So I could grab this one. Uh, that's actually inside my border as well, which means nobody will be mad about it. Not that I would really care, but... Yeah, chop that jungle. Alright, I'll probably make a few cuts. Because this is likely going to be a fair bit of micro. Or maybe just fast forward before I start the next episode after this. I don't think a whole lot will be happening that's actually exciting anymore. Unless someone like declares war on me. Maybe the whole world will declare war on me, but that's fairly unlikely. Uh, this forest is outside of range of any of these cities, which means I can just chop it. Lofty column of Wait, what? Allowed the people. Oh, oh, chopping that forest finished Earth sunlight. I was a little bit confused how the heck chopping a forest revealed a natural wonder. <laughs> that's how because it finished the satellite. Uh, that's pretty funny. Well, there you go. We finished that. Uh, let's start... Oh yeah, I can't start the next one because I do not actually have the technology yet. We can work on other things. Uh, like maybe get the government plaza building. I don't need the war department. I don't think I need royal society either. Not really. Let's just grab the uh, National History Museum. Because that might actually be useful. Get the uranium, that gives us the boost. And also nice yields. I'll probably nuke someone before the game is done. As is tradition. But I need to build the Manhattan Project somewhere and actually get the technologies. I will get the general because that gives ley lines more yields. This is what we're up to now. Not bad, not bad at all. Uh, this is also out of range, so I can harvest it. Yep, that will finish the building. And actually, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did to denounce the YouTube algorithm as its tradition and subscribe for more daily videos. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.